And what we found was that, wow, we had a dramatic increase in cellular life extension, and that was dose dependent. So there are different ways to study cellular aging. One of them is this cellular model of replicative senescence. One thing we know about cells is that they can only divide so many times. And so cells have a normal natural life cycle where they are dividing rapidly. And over time, they just, you know, they divide a finite number of times until they stop dividing, they become senescent, and then eventually die. <clears throat> and so we can actually follow that cellular life cycle. And so the experiment was really simple. It was taking psilocin which is the active metabolite of psilocybin, which is what is ingest, you know, when you ingest psilocybin, it's broken down into psilocin. And that's really what systemically what your cells in the in your body are seeing. And so we treated cells with vehicle or psilocin over the course of that life cycle. And, and that was, and it was, again, it was a simple experiment. It was like, if you give it, you know, we're going to watch cells as they normally go through this life cycle, and we're going to treat them with psilocin or vehicle and just watch what happens to their cellular life cycle. And what we found was that, wow, we had a dramatic increase in cellular life extension, and that was dose dependent. So meaning the more psilocin we gave, the greater the life extension. And we did that in lung fibroblasts at first, and then we validated that in skin fibroblasts. So we showed in two different cell types uh, that we were able to have this very similar dose-dependent effect.